Tony Schiavone at the AEW Fighter Fest Control Center. Before we begin talking about the second week of Fighter Fest, congratulations to Swerve in Our Glory. Swerve Strickland and Keith Lee last Wednesday became AEW World Tag Team Champions in the triple or nothing match against the team of Powerhouse Hobbs and Ricky Starks and the Young Bucks. Later that night, after winning the belts, our cameras caught up with Swerve in Our Glory. A lot of us here, we fight for stuff like this, right? Everyone wants to know, how do you feel? This match is over, you're new champs. And I gotta admit, it's pretty sweet. It's pretty awesome. For Swerve to be here three months, me to be here four, to claim gold that quickly is a rare thing for two rare individuals. And it means so much, not only for AEW, not only for what we represent as competitors, yeah. This means so much for my family, for everything that they're going through. J.D. Griffey, Sellers King, know that I love y'all. But it's not only y'all that I fought for. I also fought for Swerve. I'll tell you right now, you don't really get too many second chances at not only life, what Keith went through a couple years ago, but you don't really get many second chances at your career. AEW is our second chance at our career. I'm just glad I didn't do this alone. I had my brother with me, Keith Lee. The limitless one basking his glory. I couldn't ask for a better tag partner. I made my mistakes with the Battle Royal. I was trying to win. I was hungry and I was desperate. For real, I want to win. I want to win probably more than anybody else in this whole locker room, in this whole company. I want to win, but not at the sacrifice of my brother right here. Second chances. He gave me a second chance at tag team gold. And by God, we got it. Because he believes in me. Just like I believe in us, swerving our glory. You can't admonish my accomplishments or his. Because we always gonna bring results. Whose house? No. <laughs> Whose championships? Gear up for Fighter Fest tonight as we return to Metro Atlanta at the Gas South Arena in Gwinnett County in Duluth. Airtime tonight, live on TBS, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central. For our fans coming to the Gas South Arena tonight, come early. Additional matches for you begin at 7 p.m. local time. Tickets available at AEWTIX.com. On the Fighter Fest card from Metro Atlanta, the match the wrestling world is talking about. It's been a bitter, bloody rivalry between Eddie Kingston and the wizard Chris Jericho. But now it's reached another level. On Dynamite, live on TBS, Kingston and the painmaker Chris Jericho will battle in a barbed wire everywhere match. And in conjunction with Shark Week, which began Sunday, members of the Jericho Appreciation Society are not barred from ringside, just the opposite. They will be in the Gas South Arena, but high above the ring, in a shark cage. Who will feast on dynamite in conjunction with Shark Week? This all started because Chris Jericho couldn't mind his own business. Let's go back in history. This thing, things were going on forever, it feels like. Watch out! Chris Jericho! And he's got Floyd! I'm trying to be world champion, Chris, and you're getting in my way. And this started because you know what? I just figured it out. Pure, unadulterated jealousy, Chris. The inner circle's gonna cut him down. Oh, hey, 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 how you doing, Chris? You saw me rising up, and then you decided to stick your nose in there. Like you were gonna help. Like you really cared about Santana and Ortiz. You don't care about nobody but yourself. And you've proven that every step of this. That's how it all started. It's because you're a selfish prick. Because you don't know how to get out the way. I stand out here in front of you tonight, not as Chris Jericho, the sports entertainer, or Chris Jericho, the wizard, or Chris Jericho, the rock star. I stand in front of you as Chris Jericho, the living legend, and Chris Jericho, Eddie Kingston's superior. Chris, I'm gonna make you bleed because you made me a liar. You challenged me to a barbed wire everywhere match. The first barbed wire everywhere match ever. And you said you were gonna do it because every drop of blood of mine that you shed was for your friends. Everything you do when it comes to friendship 
Eddie Kingston turns to mold. Ortiz, Eddie Kingston's friend. I shaved his head and took his dignity. Santana, Eddie Kingston's friend. The Jericho Appreciation Society took him out of blood and guts. Brian Danielson, Eddie Kingston's acquaintance. I took him out and added to the arena. I did that. We don't know when he's coming back. And then there's Ruby Soho, Eddie Kingston's Ruby. Well, what did that get her to be your friend, Eddie? A mangled hand and a crushed career. Ruby Soho is one of my closest friends I've ever had. She's gotten me out of bar fights. She's bailed me out of jail. Come on, dog. You think that's gonna be simple and easy for me to let go? I'm not letting that go ever. I protect those who I love. You don't. You don't. And that's been proven. You son of a bitch, you hypocrite. I'll see you there, man. I'm gonna cut you wide open. But how many barbed wire matches have you had? How many barbed wire matches have you won, Eddie? Because I won the very first barbed wire match in Canadian history at the tender age of 22 years old. I tasted the sweet sting of Mother Barbed Wire's bite at a young age, and even though the pain was unbearable, deep down inside, I felt pleasure. I'm just as sadistic and as maniacal as you are, Eddie Kingston, but you underestimate that. You underestimate Chris Jericho, but next week you won't be able to underestimate Chris Jericho because you're not facing Chris Jericho. You're facing the pain maker. Good! If that's supposed to be the most sadistic side of you, good, bring it. Bring it, because I'm gonna embarrass you with it. Bring it, I'm gonna end the myth of the pain maker. Now you wanna talk about your this, your that, your hardcore, your this, you did the first barbed wire match in Canada? Who gives a f Because this is it, Kingston. This is the final fight in the Kingston Jericho saga, and what a saga it is. But once I beat you, you can crawl back in your little hole and continue your drinking and drugging and depression and mind problems and mental issues and every other you shut up and every other excuse you have to cover the fact that deep down inside, you know you will never be at Chris Jericho's level. Ever. I've done this dance before. This don't bother me. I live in this. I love this. I love seeing my own blood because it gets me going, Chris. Chris, you understand? I don't care about this. Chris, look at me. Look at me. I do this to myself. I wake up every day doing this to myself. Because once again, you said every drop of blood that you caused me to shed equals one of my sins. Every drop of blood is a sin that you have committed, Chris. And that last drop before you pass out, that's for my Ruby. If you want blood, Eddie Kingston, you got it. Because like I said, you're not a liar. You're a loser. Chris, you opened a can of worms. But you are not man enough to close. I won't lose. I won't lose. We've seen a lot of wild, violent matches in AEW over the past few years, but rest assured, we've never seen anything like a barbed wire everywhere match. Coming up, week two of Fighter Fest, live on TBS on AEW Dynamite. Also live on TBS in singles competition, Darby Allen collides with Brody King of the House of Black. Allen and King were the two final men in the ring in the Royal Rampage. And we'll long remember the sight of the sleeper applied by King on Derby to win that match. A week later, after an awesome showing in the AEW interim world title match against John Moxley, Darby extended his hand to congratulate King, but was ignored. Darby retaliated on Dynamite last week in dramatic fashion. It was a scene that included a memorable stare down between Sting and Malachi Black. Now this week, Darby and Brody King will meet, and we will see if Sting will need to watch Darby's back. Also on Fighter Fest Week 2, in tag team action, the best friends, Chuck and Trent, with Orange Cassidy at ringside, 
will take on members of the Blackpool Combat Club, Ring of Honor Pure Champion Wheeler Yuta, and AEW Interim World Champion John Moxley, along with William Regal. And how about this big trios match coming up on Dynamite? We've seen the problems exist between these athletes over the past couple of weeks, and this time they will settle it in the ring as the team of Chris Stadlander, Athena, and Willow Nightingale will take on the trio of TBS champion Jade Cargill and the baddies, Kiara Hogan and Layla Gray, Stokely Hathaway at ringside. Also on Dynamite, live from Metro Atlanta at the Gas South Arena in Gwinnett, in tag team action, the Varsity Blondes take on Christian Cage and Luchasaurus. Over the past weeks, we've seen and heard the comments from Cage was obviously one of the most self-absorbed, arrogant performers ever in AEW. How many times? How many times? How many times do I gotta get sent out there in front of thousands of people and just take it? And just take it while a couple of wannabe bad guys speak ill of my dead family. Just like Jungle Boy, you had a father. And I'm quite sure he wouldn't mind me speaking on his behalf, saying he'd be appalled knowing his final contribution to this business was you. Well, I got news for you, Christian and Emo Reptar. I ain't got much left to lose until I've completely lost my shit. This is at a whole new level to be lethal and deadly. You guys claim to be a couple of bad guys? Well, Wednesday night on Dynamite, we're about to find out that Griff Garrison and myself are a couple of bad dudes, too. The Varsity Blondes are coming for a fight on Wednesday night. I don't give a... I don't care who it's against. I don't care. Christian Cage, Lucha Source, I don't care. I'm fed up with this crap, okay? Brian Puma Jr. or Griff Garrison, no matter what, we're coming and we're gonna... We're gonna end you guys. We got nothing to lose. It's all happening tonight as we begin week two of Fighter Fest live in the Metro Atlanta area in Gwinnett County at the Gas South Arena in Duluth. We'll take the air live tonight on TBS beginning at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central. Tickets at AEWTIX.com. This Friday, our two-week Fighter Fest concludes on AEW Rampage on TNT beginning at 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 Central. On the card right now in singles competition, Dante Martin will meet Lee Moriarty. Moriarty is coming off a tremendous effort last week on Rampage against Ring of Honor champion Jonathan Gresham. After that match, later in the night, this happened. Stokely Hathaway, listen, let me ask you something. You've been in AEW for how long? About a year now. Mm, mm. You wrestled CM Punk, right? Mm -hmm. You wrestled Ryan Danielson? Yep. That's incredible, that's incredible. Don't you think you should be doing more? Because I think you should be doing more. There's a big opportunity coming your way, man. But let's call a spade a spade. What is Matt Seidel gonna do for you? Oh, well, Stokely, the first thing I'm gonna do is take this card, rip it up, and tell you to sell it somewhere else. Lee doesn't need you, because I've got an opportunity of a lifetime for him. Let's take a hike. Dude. You, you just, please, let's not entertain that for even a second because I've got the opportunity of a lifetime for you next week on Rampage because I'm sick of these guys cheating in matches. I want you to face somebody who wrestles with heart, somebody who has the true spirit of pro wrestling. Next week on Rampage, it's going to be you versus inhuman Dante Martin. And it's peace, love, and pro wrestling. This will prove to be a great match, I'm sure, between Dante Martin and Lee Moriarty this Friday. More matches to be announced during the week. So be sure to stay up with all the late-breaking information on our AEW social media channels. It's AEW Rampage this Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 Central, and only on TNT. This Saturday, July 23rd, Death Before Dishonor, the next Ring of Honor pay-per-view will take place it will originate from the Songus Center in Lowell, Massachusetts. Tickets for this event are available right now at AEWTIX.com and ROHTIX.com. The event is available on traditional pay-per-view providers. Just signed this past week for the Ring of Honor world title, Jonathan Gresham with Tully Blanchard will defend against Claudio Castagnoli. 
The match came about last Friday on Rampage when I was in the ring talking with Gresham and Blanchard after the win over Lee Moriarty. Claudio makes an appearance on stage and a face-off began. Tony Khan signed the match and it will headline Death Before Dishonor. Additionally, on Saturday, Samoa Joe will defend the ROH World Television Championship against Jay Lethal with Sanjay Dutt and Satnam Singh at ringside. Mercedes Martinez defends the ROH Women's World Title against Serena Deeb. And then the most anticipated rematch of 2022. In a two out of three fall match, the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champs FTR defends against the Briscoes. Ring of Honor's Death Before Dishonor, exclusively on pay-per-view this Saturday, July 23rd, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central. Again, tickets are now available if you're coming to Lowell Mass at AEWTIX.com and ROHTIX.com. And now, fans, some major announcements of two debuts and a night to remake history. We are invading New York in September. We make our AEW Buffalo New York debut Wednesday, September 7th at the Key Bank Center. The next week, Wednesday, September 14th, we make our Albany New York Capital Region debut at the MVP Arena, and then a night to remake history as AEW Grand Slam returns to the Big Apple, New York City at Arthur Ashe Stadium, Wednesday, September 21st. Tickets for all three New York live events go on sale this Friday, July 22nd at 10 a.m. Eastern at AEWTIX.com and Ticketmaster.com. But make your plans right now as tonight we bring you week two of Fighter Fest. Tonight we'll be live from the Gas South Arena in Metro Atlanta in Gwinnett County in Duluth. We take the air live on TBS at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central. I'm Tony Schiavone. I'll see you tonight live ringside in Metro Atlanta and on TBS. We are AEW.